Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So here's the deal on how I made this thing. Um, after doing like a first draft last night, I realized that I needed more firm feathers. And so I went back to Michael's and got this awesome pack of multicolored feathers. And in it, I spotted this blue and I knew that I wanted to use blue and black. And so I was like, bingo, using the blue. They also sell a separate, um, a separate pack of black feathers. So I used the black feathers as well. And basically how I was able to, oh, also, sorry, I forgot. They have a small pack of feathers and I loved this. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, I need different sizes because I knew that I needed to like get really close into my eye and you know, get in around there and, and feathers are falling off. Um, but yeah, I knew I needed to like kind of get more details and so I knew small feathers would do the trick as well as the large ones. I also use scissors. So as you can see from this feather, I literally like located certain spots that I thought were, that were good and then just cut um, the feathers off there and then you know held them applied eyelash glue. This is, this is the magic to getting this basically to stick to my face. So you use, um, this one is the clear one that dries clear, it's white. And then this one is gray and, and it dries clear also, but it's grayish and, and I used it for like the darker areas. I know they have a black one and I totally need to get my hands on it because I think the black would be much better for the dark areas. So this is what I used to um, secure the feathers. I also use in some uh, instances this Target brand um, double-sided tape so for example this thick uh, uh, not flower this thick feather here I use double-sided tape and just a couple other areas I use double-sided tape I thought that was um, really really helpful and then to apply the glue I used this Mac brush 210 um, but you can use so you can like kind of see it you can use honestly any face brush that's very thin like this um, to apply the glue to the feathers and then also to like certain areas on your face and then just to get the feathers on my face and 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 to be able to hold them for a few seconds I used this tweezer and just kind of like press down for a few seconds to um, to secure the feathers so that really really worked I honestly made this up as I was going along I had no idea I was like oh oh what can I use to like that's small and, and easy to maneuver. So I literally made this up as I went along. I've never done this before. Had no idea how to do this. Didn't do any research. Just kind of like winged it and was really happy how it turned out. One thing that I also learned last night was I needed to um, you know apply all of my foundation and, and kind of roughly do my makeup first, at least the base part of my makeup first, and then go in and apply the feathers and so I didn't use like much concealer at all I only use concealer afterwards to clean up certain areas but I basically went over my face with foundation did a little bit of contouring a little bit of highlighting on the cheeks and a little bit of blush and then I added my feathers I didn't want to add much um, I didn't want to add much foundation or concealer to under my eye because I didn't want that to get make the um, the glue really messy and dirty and and kind of rub off so yeah, that's, that's basically what I did. And then in terms of like, once I placed all the feathers and how I actually placed them, I marked them out with, uh, with eyeshadow. So I, you know, marked different lines where I wanted the feathers to be placed with eyeshadow. And then I actually cut my feathers to the shape that I wanted and then placed them on my face. Once I did all of that and had everything kind of all around, then I applied my different eyeshadows and I used, what is this, uh, steamy? by MAC all over my eye. And then I went in with uh, the Lorac Pro Palette. I used black, I used stable, slate, sorry. Black, slate, and deep purple. All in this corner area, but I used a lot of black there. And then for my eyeliner, I used um, Cobalt Ink by Bobbi Brown, it's a gel eyeliner. I use that a lot, I used it under my eyes, I used it here, I used it in all these different areas to clean up. So um, yeah, this was kind of amazing. And and then once I like did my steamy and I did the black and slate and deep purple, I went over um, my lid with, what is this, Dion by NARS. So yeah, and that, one more thing, 
On my lips, I used Sis by MAC. This is a great nude. I love it so much. I, I have no liner on at all. I literally just like basically put it all over my lip. I actually like neutralized my lips first. So I went over with powder, a lot of powder, made them basically completely neutral. And then I went over with my um, lipstick because I, I really wanted a nude lip. I didn't want anything competing with my um, with the feathers because they're like dramatic as is so decided to go nude and I really I really like this I usually use it with an eye with an eyeliner with a lip liner it's late I'm tired and I'm like half delusional but um yeah I went over my I usually go over my lips with a lip liner before I put on sis but for this particular um, look I wanted it to be like fully nude so yeah that's basically my final version of my masquerade uh, face mask. I, I really, really enjoyed doing this and because I have like this huge pack of feathers, I'm probably going to do a couple more looks like this. Oh, I forgot one more product that I used. Um, I used this cream color base by MAC. It's basically a highlight. I use this a lot, so it's kind of like empty. Anyways, I used it here and I used it here. And there you have it. There's my masquerade, face mask, bird mask, whatever this thing is called. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends and uh, let me hear your thoughts on this. And if you have experience doing this, I would love to know what products and what brands and whatever you use because I really want to, I want to become good at this. I, I think this was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Thanks. Bye. Stay unicorning.